Good morning and welcome to Children's Church. Today you're going to need washable markers and that's it. Today we're going to learn that God brings us laughter. We'll see what made one woman in the Bible laugh. So let's start today off with a song. So who likes jokes? Let me tell you a few. Why don't crabs like to share with their friends? Because they're a little shellfish. Let's do another one. How do dolphins make a decision? They flipper a coin. One more. Why did the builder fall asleep on the job? because he was bored. Let's open our Bibles to Genesis chapter 18. Got your Bible? It's so fun to laugh. God brings us laughter. So let's see what kind of laughter and joy he brought to Sarah in the Bible. One way God talks to us is through the Bible. It's a special book. And God is always with us and ready to talk to us. So let's talk to God now. Dear God, thank you so much for laughter. You're such an amazing God, and we love to laugh. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen.
today's Bible story involves God promising something that seemed totally bizarre. It seemed so bizarre that it made a woman named Sarah laugh. God's prediction to Sarah was that she would have a baby. Now that might not seem so strange, but she was 90 years old. I don't know any 90-year-old women having babies. Sarah laughed when she heard God's promise, but later God brought her joyful laughter. So let's get into our Bible adventure now. This is Sarah. Sarah was Abraham's wife. One day, as Abraham sat near the entrance of his tent, God appeared to him. Abraham looked up and three men stood before him. God promised Abraham that he and Sarah would someday have a son. Ah. In fact, God promised Abraham that he would have many children, oh. even more than the stars in the sky. Ah. Now, Sarah was very old when God made this promise. When she heard that God promised to give her a child, she laughed. The messenger of God stopped Sarah. He asked, is anything too hard for the Lord? Sarah chose to trust God, and she became pregnant, and she gave birth to a son. The son's name was Isaac. God's promises came true for Abraham and Sarah. Abraham became the father of many nations, and from his child came children, and from their children, more children, until Abraham's descendants were truly more numerous than the stars in the sky. Abraham and Sarah trusted God for the promise and believed that God was faithful. Sarah was amazed by how God kept his promise. You could see it in her face. Even though she laughed at the idea that she would have a baby when she was 90 years old, she did. She named the baby Isaac because that name means laughter. Sarah said, God has brought me laughter and all who hear about this will laugh with me. When we think of laughing, we think of things being funny. And that's how it started for Sarah. It was funny to think of becoming a mom when she was so old. But when Isaac was born, it was a different kind of laughter. She laughed out of joy. God brings us laughter because he gives us a sense of humor. And God also brings us laughter when he brings joy into our lives. How has God brought you joy? learning that God brings us laughter. God brought Sarah laughter because she was so happy to have a baby boy. 
Let's watch a video with some people and animals that look pretty happy. Which smiles made you laugh or smile? What always brings a smile to your face? You know what? God brings us laughter. Sometimes laughter is contagious. Seeing other people smile or laugh can make us smile and laugh. Aren't you glad God brings joy and laughter? Let's make reminders that God brings us laughter. When you laugh this week, that can be one way you see God at work in your life. I've made a face on my hand. Do you see it? I can make it do weird things. I want you to do the same thing with your washable markers. Make two eyes and a mouth. And then you can make other people laugh this week by using it as a puppet. You can use your hand to make other people laugh. And whenever you see it, it can be a reminder to you that God brings us laughter. Let's thank God now for laughter. Dear God, thank you so much for giving us the ability to laugh. Thank you for giving us laughter. In Jesus' name, amen.
Well, thank you for coming today. I hope you'll join me here next week when we're going to learn about two brothers who had a terrible fight and how God brought them back together. Let's sing one last song before we go today. And then I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.